Shalom and welcome to Religion Wing TV where my spiritual ears stay. Hey you all, welcome to this edition of the Orange Room, right? Religion Wing TV and today we're going to compare life to an orange, alright? So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let the music play out and you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share this video, right? This edition of the Orange Room where we compare oranges to the experience of life, right? Thank you so much. And you're watching Religion Wing TV. And my spiritual ears stay. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning into the Orange Room. Hey, how are you? Oh, wait a minute, guys. Wait one second, one second, one second. Let's do this. Get yourself over to teespring.com. Please, teespring.com to support your girl, Spirituality, and this channel, Religion Wing TV. You can get t-shirts, winksters, we are called on this channel, we lace. L-A-Y-S-E is looking at you side eye. Guys, we are working on um, logos and, you know, better production over there. But in order to support this channel and get something in return, the best way to do so at this point in time is by picking up your merch over at teespring.com. Now, with that being said, you all, let's go ahead and get into this edition of Shalom hey y'all what's up this edition of the orange room right sexy classy you're gonna see multiple at least two views of me it's one but I'm I'm sliding you know I'm scrolling through the screen here so with that being said, let me just go ahead and get right into it because this video now is about four minutes in and I only want to go to about ten minutes with this. So guys, what happened was, I, life was a struggle for me pretty much 
all my life, good and bad. I mean, I had to fight for pretty much everything. I had to be persistent and dedicated. I had to go through the struggles. I had to go through the ups and downs, right? But look at me now, by the grace of God, right? So about 2005, three, four, or five, I have the poem. It's called Life is Like an Orange, right? Okay, and what I realize is oranges and life has some similarities and some things in common. So I don't have the poem because everything behind me in my regular bed of fists, which was my office and my bedroom combined for like the last year. Uh, now I have this beautiful backdrop and you can see me sitting in my real office. And I would like for you to come in and have a seat if you guys want to understand how oranges and life are definitely in comparison. So pretty much I realized that this orange in life has a lot in common, okay, guys? So, basically, the orange is orange. is soft. It's one of these tangerines. Now, I really don't do big oranges. I like the tangerines or these little sun-kissed things here. You know, the new ones they have out. But it's really soft. I've let it set out overnight. I don't really like cold oranges. And I don't like cold life, you know. But this one is, you can tell, it's juicy and it's full. And once you begin to peel through the layers of the orange, which is really like rough skin, rough layer, once you get it all peeled, you have a lot of little white veins, strings, uh, barriers to get to that juicy, tender, scrumptious life of the orange, right? Same thing it is with life, people. It's the same exact thing. Uh, you have to begin to realize that some parts of life are not always smooth, not always easy, not always um, without rough patches or a, a rough barrier around it, right? And then once you begin to kind of dig into the barrier of the orange just like the barriers of life right you begin to realize that there's more things underneath the first layer and you got to begin to peel and strip away the layers of this orange to get to the good and juicy part of it and you have to begin to strip away that same part of life in order to get to the juicy way of living right and again, like I said, this is juicy. And I'm going to try to let you guys see that I am peeling this orange on camera, right? My hands are clean, guys. I did all this before I came on. But anyway, now I have this really, really, really juicy. Oh, it's getting all over my uh, keyboard there. Orange, right? But in order to still get to it. I see it salivating my uh, saliva glands, you know, my mouth. And <laughs> I see it, uh, you know, dripping and it's moist and it's dewy and it's the good part of the orange. Just like life. The good part of it is there, but you got to peel away the layers. And then when you peel away the rough layers, such as the outer part of, part of the orange, you have what now called the veins or I call barriers to get to that juicy oh I don't want to mess stuff up but to get to that juicy 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 part of the orange now before I take a bite of this orange I want you guys to know on a bigger size orange you have more barriers than on these little ones. On these little ones, it's not much string or barriers or, or, or hindrances to get to the juicy, juicy part. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a bite of this juicy. Hmm. Mm. 
Juicy, juicy, juicy. And there's something about a juicy, sweet orange that still gives you a bitter, mmm, just a citrus in it while you're eating of the good, juicy part. The same thing with life. While you're eating of the good, juicy part, still going to be some bitterness, some tanginess to it. It's going to be some rough patches. Going to be some barriers hindering you from getting to that sweeter part of life. So, guys, let me see where we at, where we are. It seemed like we stopped recording. I pray to God and hope not. This is a beautiful setup, right, you all? So, again, I keep wanting to look here at myself, but the camera's up there. Here, guys, have another piece. Mmm. -hmm. Life are like oranges, and you have to begin to peel it away. You have to start with the rough, patchy, outer barrier. And once you peel away the outer barrier, the roughness, the skin of life, the skin of the orange, then you have these strings that can get you caught up. You have these veins that may not be producing the right kind of oxygenated blood. And then you have these barriers of the orange that you have to begin to peel away to even get to the goodness. Even to get to the juiciness. Of this orange, right? Can you guys see the comparisons of life to an orange? And how, no matter how bad, we want the sweet, dewy, juicy, gooey part of this orange and of life. There's barriers that we have to break through. There's layers of skin that we have to peel away. There's veins that may be uh, causing us to be uh, walking with lack of oxygen. Hey, hey, that just came to me, right? And guys, I will go and read this poem as a follow-up. Once I move, though, because the poem is packed away. But life is definitely like an orange. And today, I want to just revise my poem just a little bit. I want to add, you have to begin to peel it away. The same way you get to the fruits of this orange, to the goodness, to the succulent. Mm. Part of the orange. Mm, 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 mm. It's the same way you have to be about getting to the succulent part of life. <laughs> be persistent the same way you take your nail or bite into the orange, bite into life and take your nail and dig it into your life. Make that first crack of that hard, rough layer. And then begin to peel away. Peel away. Peel away. Peel away. And then, when you get that first layer off, begin to strip away the barriers and those useless veins that's causing you to be walking around with no oxygen, deoxygenated blood. You know, the veins, arteries... <laughs> Arteries carry to the heart, veins, arteries carry to the body, veins carry back to the heart to be 
oxygenated to go back through the arteries out to your your systems those veins around the orange are keeping you from getting to the succulent part of the orange so peel them away start peeling away the veins the barriers of your life so you can get to the good part of living all right guys now with that being said Original content over here, I know, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> to be eating on camera. I did this one time before. Some mac and cheese, some uh, uh, brown stew beef. Oh, Lord, I was smacking, <laughs> telling about how I had a fire and my sister got shot. But I said, I'll never do that on camera again. <laughs> so, guys, comparing oranges. And thank God, well, you can see a little vein on this one. See it hanging there? Maybe that's why I don't like big oranges. I hate fighting through the veins and the barriers to get to the succulent part. To get to the succulent part of the 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 the, the, the orange, right? And so maybe if I stop having fear of getting my nails and all that stuff in my nails, you know, with the big orange. Maybe I'll go to eating them, but until then, this little orange was enough for me to prove that there's some similarities with the orange in life. And if you begin to look at life like you do an orange, or if you begin to look at an orange like you do life, or if you begin to listen to Religion Wing TV, who can get you to look at an orange comparing it to life? 